What's up guys, it's your boy Roby Gaming, and I am back with another YouTube video. This week we are taking on the Seattle Seahawks, another division uh, rival, and let's just see how this can game can go. This would really help us just start the season off with a little control in the division, but or end the season off I should say, with and keep control of the division, but let's get introduced into this game. With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Seahawks team as they get ready here. They come in playing pretty good football. As you can see, we are division leaders right now, 7-2, and two, and the Seahawks are in the hunt. They're 6-3, and three. so they're second place in our division, so this game is huge, and as you can see, Russell Wilson has been putting up very good numbers, 23 touchdowns, 6 picks, and 2,376 yards. In the first possession, 3rd and 5 here for the Seahawks, Russell Wilson drops back to throw, and he's looking, and he's rolling out, and he looks like he's going to take off and run with a spin juke move, and he just steps out, where he'd have gotten about 6 more yards before getting touched. The Seahawks get it inside the 5, and they try to run it on a 3rd and goal, and that has nothing going, and TJ Elden is stopped, and they're forced to kick a field goal, and here comes Justin, Justin Herbert, I should say. 10 picks, 13 touch or 10 touchdowns, 13 picks, and he starts the game off hot with a nice shot up the field, two for two, 36 yards for him. Second and five here, he's motioning use check out to the outside, and we hand it off to McKinnon, and McKinnon's got some blocks, and McKinnon gets into the end zone, easy. That's six, seven, three, 49ers. The Seahawks are coming back out trying to spark something and then Jimmy Ward jumps in front of Fred Warner to get that pick and that is an interception again for the 49ers defense and they just keep forcing turnovers but the offense could not do anything with it so we're kicking a field goal and Robbie Gold is still golden. 10, for 10 to 13, 49ers are up, and Seahawks got nothing going on their next possession, and we get the ball back, and we have Marquise Goodwin on the post route, and we are in business trying to get points before the half. We're hurting back up to the line. Herbert bringing the troops to the line, drops back to throw, and he's looking, he's looking, he's rolling out, and he fires to Trent Taylor, and that's a great pass. He is just dotting up the Seahawks defense right now, and we can't get a touchdown here, but we do kick a field goal, and Robbie Gold is up and is still golden, 13-3 to here in the first half. Let's see if we can keep this momentum going, stay up the rest of the game we're up 13 to 3 now let's hope let's see if our defense can hold them to only three points the whole game that'd be nice but not a very offensive game it's been pretty defensive not many yards in this game so Herbert bringing the team back out to the field and motioning use check out once again and he, we hand it to McKinnon McKinnon he's got some space he's going McKinnon he's down the sideline one man to beat and he gets tackled at the four. And all he gets a field goal on that possession. That was a great tackle by their defender hustling down the field. And on a third and seven, the Seahawks convert. And Wilson's not doing too hot this game. And they're forced to punt. So we still only held them to three points this game. And I was looking for Marquise Goodwin, I believe, on the left side deep. But we couldn't get him. And that's the end of the third quarter. Let's see if right now we're we're in month, we're in business right now. Right there it shows we only have 13 points, but we have 16. And um, as you can see, my user was not very good against number 85 for the Seahawks. And Wilson drumming back to throw, trying to get some points for his offense, and it is picked by the rookie Jonathan Abram, who jumps after he picks it up, picks it off and gets tackled. But that just oh, pretty much is a dagger. You don't, I wouldn't expect the Seahawks offense to get back into this game. But that was a beautiful catch right there by McKinnon. 
and Herbert dropping back to throw, and he, he's firing it, and that was double coverage, fired it to Tony Lippett, Lippett not much space there, I do not know why he threw it, but Wilson dropping back to throw, he's looking deep, and he's going to go up, triple coverage, and Abram gets another pick, and that will do it here in Seattle, we win 16-3, to we only had 89 passing yards, but 146 rushing yards will get the job done and three takeaways so that helps and um, McKinnon had another great game like he's had all year he's having an MVP type of type of season and I hope he can keep it going I believe he will but Ruben Foster like always leading us in tackles did not get a pick today but jo Jonathan Abram did and he led us there but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. That is all for today. I will see you guys in the next video against the Rams. And let's hope we can keep this going and make the playoffs, alright? <laughs> but I'll see you guys later. Peace.